You may have heard the term dark net or dark web, but what is it and how do you get there? First, let's clear up some common misconceptions. The dark net is not dark in color, nor does it look like the matrix. It's not illegal to visit the dark net, nor is it more complicated than using a regular web browser. The dark net is called dark only because it exists on a computer network that is hidden. That is, nobody knows where those computers are and who operates them. To access the darknet, you need a browser called Tor. Tor can be downloaded by anyone, and voila, you have instant access to the darknet. But what would you do or look for on the darknet? Since darknet websites can be operated anonymously, Selling and or buying illegal products such as drugs, weapons, hacking services, and much more is not surprising. According to research, about 60% of all darknet websites offer illegal content. And because cryptocurrency payments such as Bitcoin also offer anonymity, customers on darknet sites can also operate in secret. But is all darknet content illegal? Absolutely not. The Darknet contains information websites, as well as a whole range of applications, such as email, file sharing, and so on. There are many other legitimate use cases. Journalists can exchange data safely, regime critics can express their opinions without fearing for their lives, and end users can enjoy undisturbed privacy while surfing. As you can see, the Darknet is not quite as spectacular as it sounds. If you want to learn more about this topic, you can read our article, 